Okay, Godfrey, I'm tagging you in this video. I think you used to have a lot of clients with Dobermans. I bet Godfrey knows a lot about Dobermans. Anyway, I'm gonna tape his ear back up. It doesn't hold still very well. So, this boxer, I could get rid of it real fast if I need to. If you said, pal, honestly, just triggering the impulse that I, she's looking at me, she thinks I'm fitting to do it. Triggering the impulse that I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, that was like a distance send away. I hope you saw that, Mike. Yeah. Hope you said what? What? I hope you saw that. <laughs> it was like a fucking distance send away. Oh, I saw her looking at me. I saw her thinking she could trigger the impulse. If you said you were doing the same thing to her, yeah. But that's what it's evolved to, Mike. Not me triggering the impulse in the dog, the dog trying to trigger it in me. She said that makes you very likable. Someone you can get to do exactly what you want? Hell yeah, that makes you likable. There's nothing not likable. perfect for puppies. I don't know if you wanted to teach a stand. Oh, remember I did with that one little moose, remember? Maybe you should you lure him up there now. I really don't think, I really, oh. He's always thinking somehow he's getting me to do what he wants. Somehow. You know, the chance of me controlling that boxer by demanding, by demanding that it do what I want is slim to none. Yo, no, nothing's too big for him. Yo, no, he's absolutely precious. He said, what about sit? Forget about sit. He doesn't know sit. He knows go. Making him go up there is gonna, this is not gonna make him do it better, I promise. So, I was live this morning, Mike. I think you missed it. I had to set the video to private. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I was thinking about you, and it's, it's, it's a warning sign that Darby was so uncomfortable. And if you said, what is it? Nah, she's, she's got a little comfort zone going on at your house, and we need to expand that. I mean, thank God you brought her here for training, but. Oh, no, when she first comes here, no, she doesn't, you know, no. No, she doesn't act, I mean, she's in the crate. That's why you've got maybe just bring a crate over there, but, you know, she's leery of, you know, what might the other dogs do or something, you know, so she's just quiet and just lays there peaceful. 
Not making noises, not attracting attention. But I am, I'm being very specific where I get it. Remember, I told you the only behavior he has is jumping up. <laughs> Nothing stops him. So I had to I had to put the video to private because Kato started coming in the video. My niece Katie was watching. I was going, Katie, look. Look what I have, Katie. So I set it to private, though. I was going to delete it, but then I said, oh, no, no, no. I'll keep it set up to private. But he's starting to come in the kitchen now, so I'll soon be able to have Kato in the kitchen sessions. So, but I have been just doing teeny tiny. Yeah, if you look at the complex drills, you know, that you're doing with these dogs... You know, if you said, well, what about like when a dog, a Schutzen drill where the dog is running the blinds and all that, you, you, you're not talking about 20 minutes. I, I'll go time it, but it's, I mean, the whole obedience routine, I'll go time it, but yeah, you know, you've got to keep things short. I mean, your, your drills and your subtasks, I mean, the smaller you can make them, the smaller and faster you can make them, the faster they're going to go together and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he already picks up stuff. And he puts it right in my hand. You know, you've just got to be... You've just got to be ready. You've got to be thinking, I'm going to get catch it with one hand. Oh, it just keeps going over there. She pointed it out to him, though. <laughs> he saw I was sitting on it. <laughs> he put it right in my hand, Mike. I hope you saw that. If you said get your feet together, I know. You've got to, if you're gonna speak fluently later, and there's the paw. But if you said you're doing a good job doing it at the same time, yes. Oh, laissez-faire, laissez-faire. You know, the food and the object are there at the same time. It's not gimme. You're gonna have to do better than that, Ma. You need to pick it up and run with it. She is a good pointer, though. Am I wrong? She points it out. Look at her, she keeps pointing it out. She's a pointer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like they, they, they work as a team. One dog points it out and the other one gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to point out things that the other ones can't see. Don't you see, Mike? Oh, now that'll be what I'll eventually be known for. Chihuahua pointing training. They point things so that larger, stronger dogs can get them. If you said, but can it pick that up? You'd think. <laughs> you have to be very surgical with your hands, though, if you're going to get that result. And if you said, should you feed him behind your back like that? On the platform, I think you should sometimes. <laughs> oh, he's a clever one, Mike. He put it right in my hand. If you said you're gonna need a bigger bucket. Yeah. But I like the little, the build up. If you said, should you throw it? No. So he's basically done it every single time I've presented it. Well, hi, Carlos. He's done it every single time I've presented it since I started doing it. If you said, so if you continue with that, he'll do it. Yeah, he will. All right, hang on, let me grab some more treats.
so I go in there, and again, I must have left the microwave open again, and Shoe Bottom got up in there and ate all the treats. If you said again, yes, again, if you said, what did you say? I said, you're a bitch. I'm gonna tell you why this is so easy for this puppy, Mike, because that's what he does on the platform anyway. He just does the front feet. <laughs> he said, what about that? Well, oh look, now he sits on it. Oh, be careful. But I'm keeping everything in motion. My God, he's adorable. Okay, you couldn't say so. Is it me or is he just adorable? Okay, watch that. We're just going from location to location. So, I'm specifically. Okay, hang on. Turn around. Where is she? Where is she? So what? Do I, oh, he's already doing a little short loop. He does see the platform is just the front feet, though. Now that's why this is so easy to get so early. That's where I'm at, and I mean, you're gonna shape that into a heel. I think initial, this, if you said it was kind of like a hitchhiker drill, it is in the small of a puppy. I mean, it's, you're not gonna have to go as far, but I mean, as far as he's concerned, I'm going over there. tell European Dobermans because they have a totally different like the rubbery part of their nose the end of their nose that rubbery part it's always a very different shape and if you said he's a very ethnic no oh he's a very ethnic European nose for sure So I think puppy recall, if he's, oh, he, he doesn't want to be away. He doesn't want to be away. So puppy recall, if you can get it. Uh-oh. Kind of like, oh, mama's boy. He's in here. Mama's boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> he said, well, that's, you know, don't look at him. So if you said, well, that persists, uh, I, I think it will. He's been doing it for three days. He's not going to stop. Why well, stop? It works. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so I want, you know, he doesn't want to be left behind. Well, I, got, I was able to sneak away while he wasn't looking. And if you said then he'd get, he panics and wants to know where you went, oh, for sure. He looks like he's gonna be big. I can't remember whether they said he was gonna be oversized or not. He's cute though. He's cute for sure. Alright, watch. Yoshi! So 
I, 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 I've only said the name a few times. I don't say the name all the time, but... If you said, where did, I don't know where I came up with it. It just popped in my head. <laughs> but if you said, well, the first couple times someone said the train is leaving, I learned that when someone said the train is leaving, the train is leaving. So that's what he might think Yoshi means. Okay, look, he's, he's, he's going to get distracted and go after Sky. Oh, Yoshi. Oh, he's terrible. He's terrible about grabbing the camera. No, he was trying to add you, Mike, and he actually hit add Mike. He does start biting. I'm just saying, any sessions while I'm doing the retrieving, these, these are taking a matter of seconds. You don't have time to do that. Mm. It's not like this is staged at all, or this puppy's had special training. It would work on any puppet. I don't acknowledge that at all. I'm just like the mother. I don't have any reaction. If you said the mother hugs, and not that I'm aware of. <laughs> He puts it right in my hand. Oops. So I have to be better at guarding with him. Molly needs to play it out. Oh my God, Mike. Do you see that? I think, and I think you're, if you're not saying to yourself all the time, what is the gauge of free agency? The dog will eat, the dog will drink, the dog will not be distracted by other dogs in free agency because it's doing what it wants to do. It will, it will, if anything, oh my God, she's the best pointer outer I've ever seen. If anything, it will be vying against these other dogs for the handler's attention. Am I wrong?
I said, why doesn't she pick it up? I think I need to go to like Norwoods, get like filet mignon. I swear to God, that's what I used to get there. I couldn't get where I couldn't eat it anymore, but I think if I got that, she saw she was gonna get that for doing it, she might do it. So I just don't react to that at all. I mean, I don't have a bad reaction, it just doesn't work. Put it right in my hand. And he directly came. You know, you, you can see the benefit of driving one to the platform. Where else was he going to go? He's been coming over to the platform all morning. He's not going to suddenly say, that's not where I'm going to go. If he said, right, he just went, came by, force a habit, he went back to the platform. Yeah, that's what I would say. You know, when these people say you have to break a habit of biting, well, habits have to be created somehow. You know, maybe I could figure, they do have these, they do have these like little, So if you said, oh, it seemed like you were overly making it sound like you were running away. No, I was. So there's no correction. I mean, there's no correction. You said, should you laugh? Yeah, you should laugh. You should laugh. If you said, how many times has he done it? I mean, since like two o'clock this morning, he's probably done it 15 or 16 times at least. Maybe if you said, well, you did it 10 earlier, well then maybe 20 something. So if you said that's becoming a habit, yeah. So if you said, what was that? That was my fingers, the toy and the food in his mouth at the same time, Mike. Pick up something and lend up me in that mouse. Point it out, Molly, so you she sees it. Now he's sniffing for it. <laughs> so I just didn't like I was trying to move away. I didn't say gimme, gimme, gimme. And I didn't say gimme, gimme, gimme. So do I, I do like the little head shake. I do like the little head shake. Anyway. 
is called Yoshi and Molly training. So, anyway, it's very exciting work, and it's you know I've only had him since Tuesday. I mean, he's already doing all this, you know, and I'm systemically moving away. That's why he's, you know, so imprinted to follow me. he did it before. Uh -oh. He said, should you talk with him? Not with one of these, I don't think you should. Not with one of these Euro dopes. That wouldn't be mine. If he said, well, if you didn't tug with it, it wouldn't be able to be trained for protection. And I think it would. I think it would. Anyway, I'll be right back.